Hello everybody, today I have this Volvo engine. This is a Volvo D13. It can be mounted in many different Volvo uh, trucks from many different years. And today I'm going to show you how to do the oil change process on this specific engine. This process is going to be similar almost for all Volvos from 2008 up to today. Uh, even older is going kind of similar. The difference is the part number of the filters and how you wanna access that because it's very depending on the on the chassis how hard it is to do this process. To do the oil change, we're gonna need two oil filters. These are the oil filters and one bypass oil filter. This is the extra filter you need in case something fails in the oil system. This will actually save your engine. In this case, these are uh, Baldwin song numbers. They're upside down. That's the reason why this one is upside down. These ones are fine. So, but you can buy Volvo uh, filters, which are okay as well. They're the same quality. We have the fuel filter right here. This is the part number of the fuel filter. And we have the fuel water separator over here. These are the four filters you need to do the oil change. And also we're gonna need oil. In this case, I'm gonna be using OEM oil just to, uh, meet the, the specifications of the manufacturer in this case but you can use any oil but if you wonder if you can mix the oils for example you can use volvo and then you have shell oil because you can you cannot afford or you had some extra oil from before and now you have this oil you can mix them together yes you can mix them it is not recommended but you can mix them the same thing with the oil filters you can put a volvo filter and a Donaldson filter and it's gonna work. It's not recommended, but it can work. And we're gonna need the tool. This is a one, one quarter uh, socket for the oil pan and the oil filter grinch. It's all bended as you can see because sometimes these filters are super, super, super tight and it's really hard to remove them. But that's something that you have to deal with the bulbos. All bulbos have the same problem. Without mind, we can start the process. So the first thing we're gonna do is to open the drain plug. In this case, the drain plug is right here, as you can see, that one over there. You're gonna be using the one in one quarter uh, tool to remove them. In this case, I already lost it. So you have to have something to collect the oil. And now we can open this drain plug. So we can collect the oil now in the meantime we are going to remove the oil filters in this case the oil filters are located right here right where the axle goes there are the three filters this is the bypass filter and we have the other filter these filters are super tight to remove in some cases depending on who did the oil chain in the past i did the oil chain myself last time so let's see how tight it is see they're super soft to remove and still you have to do some effort so we wanna get them loose okay this one is loose and we wanna do the same with this other two over here we wanna get them loose still tight super tight so the thing is like when you tie this one when you replace them you have to tie hand tie them if you tie them with a tool next time you won't be able to remove them so easy because they get super tight. For some reason, Volvo systems are very <laughs> crappy on that. See, this one is tight, <laughs> but it's moving. <laughs> it is tight. And I just hand tightened last time. Can you mind if you use a tool? All right. All right, now it's loose. The next step is to pierce a hole. We wanna be using this to pierce a hole in each filter to drain the oil that is collected in each oil filter. The oil is being drained on the filters and the oil from the oil pan is almost completely drained. So we have to wait until this gets completely uh, empty so we can replace the filters. In the meantime, what we can do is 
to replace the fuel water separator. In this case, the fuel water separator is right here. So we have to grab something to collect the fuel, then we're gonna drain from this uh, filter. So the first thing we have to do is to disconnect this plug over here. This is for the uh, sensor, the water uh, sensor. So then we can remove the filter. It is tight, but it's rotating. All right, there we go. Now, take it completely out. This is the filter that comes straight from the tanks. We have the secondary filter, which is in the other side, and that filter we're gonna replace later. And here we have the filter. So now we're gonna drain the fuel completely. Once the fuel is completely drained, we can remove the uh, cup over here. This is where the water is supposed to be collected. This over here is where you wanna drain the water in case there is any in the system. So I already lose them. It is not so easy to remove and you have to uh, get a loose freeze. Uh, so there is a seal over here and we have to remove it. Now it's time to install the cup with the fuel water separator. In this case, the fuel water separator comes with two new seals. This is for the top and this is for the water separator cup over here. So this one goes right here where we remove the old one. And now we can install this one, but it's kind of risky with one hand, it's kind of hard to put it on because the seal falls, as you can see. So let me install that and I wanna get back to you. Prayer cap is on place, the seal is where it's supposed to be. Double check that, that's very important. Otherwise the engine won't start or it will start for a moment and it will shut down because the fuel is not actually uh, working the way, the fuel system is not working the way it's supposed to be because there is air. Now, we're going to install the fuel uh, water separator gasket. This is the seal that was on top, pretty easy. You just like put it here, and that's it. Nothing else to do. And now, we are going to fill the fuel water separator with clean fuel, and then we can install the filter. Just make sure to align it with the base like this and rotate it. It's pretty easy, nothing complicated. Once the filter is in this position, hand tight it. Don't tight it too much because then it's going to be hard to remove it. And then double check the cap. You can retight it too because it's very important you check this out. Then this cap is tight as well. And after you have done that, the last thing to do is to reconnect the plug. And that's about it, about this. Now we're gonna go back for the uh, oil filters. The oil is completely drained on the oil filter, so now we can safely remove all of them from the housing over there. You can see that's where they are. So you can remove them all. Now it's easy, they're not tight anymore. Now all we have to do is to check and there is no seals left on the housings. There is none, so we can install the new oil filters. In this case, we have three oil filters, but remember, there is one that is bypassed. How you gonna identify the oil filters is then the oil filters that have a small orifice and the bypass has a larger orifice. That's all you have to make sure, because in this case they don't have name. Uh, the original uh, Volvo en uh, engine filters, oil filters, they have name. They say bypass, one size bypass. So that's how you wanna know, then you wanna uh, install the bypass where it's go it goes. So now we're gonna install the last one because that is the one then we have to focus on freeze. And that's all. Yeah, see, it's the bypass. And we're gonna tighten it, hand tighten it. See? That should be enough, but for prevention, it's always to give a little more with the tool. Just make sure to use just a bit of strength like this. That is enough. No more than this.
because later it's going to be so hard to remove it and now we're gonna be installing the other three but and there we have the three filters reinstalled tight and secure they're super clean as you can see that's the reason why you remove the plastic at the end so that way you don't make it all dirty with your hands so the next step is to install the drain plug all we have to do is to place it back where we removed it where the oil is uh, being drained over here and then we're gonna tighten it you can tighten it with a small ratchet you don't have to use a larger ratchet and that is going to be it double check that double check that this one is tight because that is a big problem if you don't 